Well, I've come to the south of the Isle of Man, near Fleshick, to visit what must be one of the most extraordinary gardens on the island. It's the creation of one man, Keith Kenyuk. And when I spoke to him, I asked him when he first came here to Cummelbeg. Uh, I got married in 1962, so I've been here 46 years nearly. And what was the garden like when you moved oh, in? Oh, hell of a mess. Mm. I bought the place of a spiritualist, an old man, and the grass and only a muddy path got up to the front door and all the back garden was willows and briars. It was in an awful state then. When you say a spiritualist, who was that then? A fellow called Saxton. Mm. I bought the cottage of him. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And did he leave any... Uh... He left the Ouija boards up the did attic. He? Yeah. And I burnt them up the garden. <laughs> and in them days, the toilet was up the garden. I was only a young fella in them days, you say, young Barry. And I'd be running and the clothesline used to get <laughs> round my neck until he had me strangled. And he's not uh, communicated with you since then? Uh, no, uh, no, no, I hope not. <laughs> no. So this whole unique garden which you've uh, brought into being, I mean, when did you start? Did you have a master plan from the beginning? No plans. I went on the buildings and there was always cement and concrete left over. And I used to bring the lorry home like, and that's why I made the pools and I made these gnomes and all like. Oh, you made the gnomes yourself? Oh, I had the mermaids, the little ones, mm. and the store. Well, there's three or four different types of things I made. It's very creative, and this presumably is uh, your expression of creativity. If, if you weren't doing this, you might have been painting or anything. Yes. I'm just driving the wife nuts with all the things. <laughs> so what gives you the ideas? What comes into your mind to, you know, well, make an... all in my mind. Everything's in my mind, yeah. What inspires you, though? You've got Apaches up at the end of the garden. Where do they come from? Well, I started, there was a tree rotten down the back garden, you see. So I painted an Apache a woman on it. And it didn't harm the tree. The tree has gone crackers, big leaves and branches growing out. So then I done the other two, and they've got crackers. So a bit of paint has not on the trees. And then the ghost rider, like a, he's done about four years ago, and then a, a couple of winters ago, I made most of the men in the back garden. And the galleon, it used to be the orange submarine. Then I just in the last couple of weeks changed the galleon, like had it painted all orange. The portholes, and the portholes are only flower pots, like, you know. I've got things for everything. <laughs> I imagine some of this stuff has come from beach combing down at Fleshick, has yes, it? Yes, yes. Oh, a lot of it, yes. I use uh, the big plastic floats that gets washed in. And I make phases and all off my bed, and I cut them in half for the breasts of the Apache women, there's a use for everything. <laughs> so how many people have you got in the garden? Have you counted them? Uh, I honestly haven't, but if you took one away, I'd know he'd yeah. be missing. Yeah. yeah, There's quite a few. Now, the first thing you see as you come through your gate, uh, well, in fact, as you drive along the road here, is a wonderful hedge, the way you've cut the hedges. What yes. have you got there? Well, it's the elephant and the crocodile and a bird in the middle and there's a couple of ponies up in the hedge and there's a farmer Jewin from up the road there with a bull <laughs> and then in the backyard and this this man cut out a fuchsia here yeah. I haven't really got a name for him really he's got scallop shells in his That's head right yeah, yeah. very attractive yeah. yeah yeah what what are the teeth of the crocodile made of plastic mm. yeah yeah. Is that, that's just something you found somewhere? Well, the use of not when they're doing plastic windows and all, it's just fittings from that, you know. Yeah. 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 This um, garden must, you know, uh, uh, you must get some comments about it. Do people stop yeah, and... Yeah, stop a lot, a yeah. lot taking photos. Yeah. You see, my topiary, if I didn't have the teeth and eyes and them, they, they wouldn't look so good. Mm. And I've never seen Topri done with teeth or eyes before. <laughs> so is this 40 years of work? Oh no, oh God, no. 
Oh no, it, I've altered that front garden lots of times mm. since that. Mm. I started at about in the eighties creating all the the front gardens. And these are just recent all the beds. Mm. And uh, the elephant crocodiles been a few years now, it takes a while, you know, to get them and yeah, yeah. get the bush like yeah. it takes lots of cutting. So do you try and have a different display each season? Do people say, let's go and see what Keith's got in his garden I this year? I Germans, the TT week at all come here, yes, mm. yes. I've made lots of friends. <laughs> the motorbike men love it, yeah. <laughs> so pictures will be going around the world then? Probably, yes, mm. yes. And what gives you inspiration in the day? I mean, do you see something on TV and think, no, oh... No, I don't yeah. copy anything. You don't. No, it's all out of your own head. Mm. I copy nothing. And what plans have you got for future things then? Oh, I think I'll be throughout the house if I do any more. <laughs> I can't believe you're going to stop. <laughs> no, no. No, I might change the vegetable garden into putting bushes and shrubs and all in, you know, yeah. make more different things, mm. more tobri and things. And along with all of that, you've got this amazing collection of, of farm implements. Um, I think that looks like a bit of an old tractor there. Where, where have you been collecting these from? Well, the farmers, I've got some at farm sales, but the farmers have been very good to me. Alan Clucas and uh, Cools from Radha and Tom Clegg, late Tom Clegg from Serby, you know. And the Ken Kringle I've had from a Ken. Quite a few things. And the lawnmowers, I've got a couple down the, the tip, like, and people have seen them and brought theirs up too so I got about five is it now off the at courses not only are they your remarkable creations but there's actually serious gardening going on as well with the plants and the planting and the vegetables oh, my wife's good on the f she knows all the flowers yeah. she's the expert flowers yeah and you've got fresh vegetables every day as well yes mm. yes mm. well Keith thanks very much for talking to us it's been fascinating so uh, We'll just go and have a walk around and look at some of the stuff oh, ourselves. I enjoy the stuff, eh? <laughs>